Hello, this is going to be a tutorial on how to select the correct turbo size for your car or application. To get things started off with here, we got formulas and some other stuff that will help you decipher what you're going to need for your application. And these are all very important in the process. Alright, here's a little Excel sheet I made. So here you type in your desired power. Here is an airflow ratio. Um, I'm using E54, 54% ethanol. I guesstimated about 10 because gasoline is about 14.7. E85 is about 8.5. So I just threw in a 10. Um, it might be a little higher, a little lower. But uh, brake specific fuel consumption. I again estimated this, um, I believe it's like 0.65 for E85 and um, this is for a turbo. So um, yeah, I just put 0.72. I know it was right in between like gasoline and E85. Again, I estimated that because I'm going E54. Um, cubage cubic inch displacement you um you can take that and you could calculate that just by simple take your liters if you have a liter motor and times that by about 60.7 or something and it gives you this number here um intake temps i just Estimate about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is in uh, Fahrenheit. I'll just throw that in. And volumetric efficiency. Again, this is you just have to estimate this. It's different from car to car. Um, this might be a little high, a little low. You know, you change this and everything else changes here. So, um, engine speed, my max, you know, I'm like, I don't care if my turbo really falls on its face at like a 6,600 RPM. Um, if you change this, I mean, you see this changes, this is going to be your end result here, but, um, these are your output. So this is your actual airflow, your manifold pressure boost pressure needed from pressure loss ambient pressure um, with its loss and here's your final pressure ratio and here's your corrected airflow so that's b14 so that's here plus e14 so you're going to want your pressure loss and then divide that by two so that's that and these are um, good turbos that I found for my car for my horsepower goal. And it seems to be pretty accurate because these are about, you know, 60 mil turbos, 62, you know. So, um, yeah, that's that. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how to use the information that you got from the Excel file or from the calculations yourself. So here's a turbo I've already selected to be appropriate for my application. So uh, it is the GT3582R, and this even estimates horsepower 400 to 675. If you want your turbo to be most efficient and spool fastest and work the best, you're going to want to be closer to this higher number. So Garrett always pretty much supplies a compressor map, which is what you calculated. Here you go down to here. Okay. And my ended up being 3.1 and 57 corrected airflow. So I go here, 3.1 and 57 would be about here. Um, would be about here okay so as you can clearly see this is an appropriate turbo you want to be in this range as I will show you to understand the charts after um, so this is basically your choke line 
this outer line here and that's pretty much where your turbos is just not gonna work um, this is your surging over here this is not good either your turbos not your turbo is too big for you um, these are the efficiency zones they they tell you how efficient your turbo is um, so yeah here your turbo is gonna spool fastest and yeah these are your uh, turbocharger speed lines but I'll show you a chart after this so that's just to clear that up so as you can see this is a good turbo for my application here's another example of the numbers that you get from the Excel sheet to prove that they work so I, if you just plug in my 3.1 and my approximately 57 from the calculated stuff you will see that this is another great suited turbo this is the Borg Warner S257 SXE um, another great option I really like this turbo really simple really affordable really awesome turbo all right, this is just to kind of summarize this chart for you guys. So as you can see here on the pointed to the choke line, this is the line where your turbo will not really work. This is its maxed out point. So you do not want to go past that point. Um, turbo speed lines, this is just your little, this is your best, the higher you get, the more efficient your turbo is. The surge line is where your turbo isn't really even working it's way too big for your car the efficiency islands are just kind of saying how efficient your turbo is um, and then yeah just a mass airflow axis which is what you calculated and the pressure ratio axis so you want to be right pretty much where that turbo charger speed line the smaller arrow you want to be right in about that zone the more up top and right you are, the better spool you will get and the more accurate the turbo is for your application. Thanks for checking out my channel. Be sure to check out some other videos and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I'll be creating a lot more videos on this kind of stuff. So thanks for stopping by. See you later.